Box spreadsheet that I prepared to make bookkeeping easy for a startup business. I humbly named it the Accountinator Beta, Accountinator, and it's available on Google Docs. But a similar spreadsheet could be created very quickly in Excel or any other program. It's designed for a very small business, a business with maybe 100, 200 transactions a year. And it's designed to be for you to start up with it and use it within a couple of minutes. I have three tabs at the bottom in Google Docs. One of them is called Accounts. Another one is called Report. And the third one is for Help. Let me explain how to use it. Start off with the opening balance in your bank account. Let's say that there's $100 in the account right now. Just type in $100. Now type in the date of your first transaction. Let's say your first transaction was to purchase advertising. Check number 101 to Penny Saver. The amount of cash is say for $50, so we paid $50. And then scroll right until you find the appropriate column for the expense. There are all sorts of different items here. And it's designed to align with what would appear on a Schedule C on your tax return. So here, advertising expense is $50. Next, let's suppose that on January 10th, you get a check, you receive money. So you make a sale to Joe P. I don't know who that is. $600 cash. In your sales column, you'd write $600. And again, your spreadsheet is in balance. Now, if you enter the wrong number here, let's say I actually write $6,000, people do things like that, then immediately the spreadsheet goes out of balance. It'll say, oops, over here in red. And that means that there's some kind of error that you have to find. So here you see 600, 6,000, that's the mistake. Enter the right amount, and now it will appear in balance. There's room here again for 360 transactions, but if you need that many transactions, you probably need another spreadsheet. You would start a new spreadsheet every year. In the report tab, you'll see a report showing your performance. First of all, how much cash do you have in the bank? And second of all, what your profit is. It'll list your sales and every single expense item. These can be copied onto your Schedule C for your tax return. There's also an item here for help. Our, my website's accountinator.com. A quick review of what to do. A link to the IRS instructions. And in these instructions, you can find more explanation about which column to use over here. And just a word of warning. Be careful about information that you keep in the cloud. It may not be secure. Therefore, although while well, Google security is very tight, it may, there may still be some issues. So do not put account numbers, don't put personal information on here to protect your privacy. And that's it. Good luck.